Here, I have a filter. And as you can see, the intensity of the light passing through is reduced. Now here's a second filter. And if I place it in front, you can see there's barely any difference. But watch what happens if I turn it 90 degrees. You can see the light is completely blocked out. So what's going on? Now these are polarizing filters. How do they work? Now light is a form of an electromagnetic wave and it is a transverse wave where we have a fluctuating electric field and a fluctuating magnetic field, both perpendicular to each other. In this case, the plane of the electric field is vertical, but it can be in any plane, like so. When light contains waves in all orientations, we say it is unpolarized. Now that is, we have no preferential polar axis. Now, if all waves align in one direction, then the light is polarized. So how do we go from unpolarized to polarized. One way to do this is by a polarizing filter. Now for here on in, we'll only examine the electric field directions. So a linear polarizing filter is made up of long molecular chains that absorb all components of the electric field in one direction, leaving all other components passing through. Now this means a polarizing filter has an axis of polarization. So if we have unpolarized light, it will have a certain intensity, which we're going to call I naught. If we pass that through a filter, which has a vertical axis of polarization, all electromagnetic waves aligned vertically will pass through unaffected. The electromagnetic waves aligned horizontally will be completely absorbed. And any electromagnetic wave aligned in between the vertical and the horizontal, only their vertical components will pass through. As a result, passing unpolarized light through a polarizing filter that is vertically aligned, the intensity that comes out is half of the original intensity, and so is I naught over two. Now what happens if we add a second polarizer? In this case, we call this second polarizer the analyzer, because it allows us to analyze the axis of polarization of the first filter with respect to the second filter or analyzer. Now, if the analyzer's axis is parallel to the first filter, then all light passes through with the same reduced intensity. In other words, I naught over two. If the analyzer's axis is perpendicular, in this case, horizontal, then no light passes through. So what happens if the angle between the first polarizer and the analyzer is somewhere in between zero and 90 degrees? This is where we can use Malus's law. And Malus's law states that the intensity coming out is equal to the maximum intensity entering multiplied by the cosine squared of the angle between the two axes of polarization. And so our I naught over two is our I max. The intensity coming out over here is I. What about our angle? And so if this represents the axis of the first filter, then the angle that we have is going to be theta. And so in this case, we have a 60 degree angle between the polarizer and analyzer. If the initial intensity that we had at the beginning was 100 watts per square meter, then over here, an I max or I naught over two is going to be only half of that, which is 50 watts per square meter. And finally, our intensity, which is equal to the maximum intensity, which is 50, multiplied by the cosine squared of 60 degrees. Cosine 60 is a half, and so we multiply this by one half all squared, we get 12.5 watts per square meter. If I were to graph our intensity coming out with respect to the angle, we're gonna get a maximum intensity when the angle is equal to zero, and so what we will get is a graph that looks like this, where this is going to be zero degrees, and this over here is 90 degrees. If I graph the intensity with respect to the cosine squared theta, then I'm going to get a linear relationship whose slope is going to be equal to our intensity max. Hopefully this has helped you understand polarization better. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and can please consider by buying me a coffee to support the work that I do. My name is Paul from Physics High. Bye for now.